We're back with Rob, em Rob Emsley, who's the Director of Product Marketing for Dell EMC's Data Protection Division. Rob, good to see you. Hi Dave, good to be back. So we just heard from Beth about some of the momentum that you guys have from your perspective, from a product angle, what is really driving this? Yeah, well one of the things that we've you know, definitely seen is that as we talk to our customers, both existing and new customers, uh, cloud uh, journeys is, is top of mind for all of the CIOs. It's being driven by either the desire to drive efficiency, take out costs, and data protection is one of the, the most common use cases. You know, one of the things that we find uh, is that there's four use cases for data protection that we see. Uh, Long-term retention of data, uh, cloud disaster recovery, um, backup to the cloud, and the emerging uh, desire to stand up new applications in the cloud that need to be protected. So backup in the cloud um, really completes the four major use cases. Well, one of the things that I think is really important in this market is that you deliver optionality to your customers. So how are our customers enabling these use cases? Yeah, so um, the, the first, two UK, first two use cases of long-term retention and cloud disaster recovery uh, is, is really driven by our software and our appliances. Uh, both of those are really predicated based upon the assumption that customers are going to deploy uh, data protection on-premises to protect their on-premises workloads uh, and then tier to the cloud uh, or, uh, which is becoming more common, use the cloud as a disaster recovery target. You know, it's delivered by our data protection software, um, and that's either in a software form factor or uh, that software delivered in an integrated appliance form factor. So let's talk about purpose-built backup appliances. I think uh, you know our friends at IDC. I think have, have you know coined that. They they tracked that market for a while. You guys have been a leader there. The acquisition of Data Domain obviously put you in a really strong position. Give us the update there. Is it still a vibrant market? Is it growing? What's the size? What's it look like? Yeah. So as we look at 2020, you know IDC forecasts the market size to be. Uh, a little under $5 billion, so still uh, a very large market. Uh, the overall market is growing at um, a little over 4%, uh, but the interesting thing is that if you think about how the market is, is made up, it's made up of two different types of appliances. One is a target appliance, such as Data Domain and the new PowerProtect DD, uh, and the other is integrated appliances, where you integrate the target appliance architecture with data protection software. And it's the integrated appliance part of the market that is really um, growing faster than the other part of the, of the uh, PBBA market. It's actually growing at 8%. In fact, IDC's projection is that by 2022, half of the purpose-built back or appliance market will be made up of integrated appliance solutions. So it's growing at twice the overall market rate, but you guys have two uh, integrated appliances. Why, why two, how should people think about those? Yeah, so a little under uh, three years ago, we introduced uh, a new integrated appliance uh, the, called the Integrated Data Protection Appliance. It was really the combination of our backup software with our data domain uh, appliance architecture. Uh, and the Integrated Data Protection Appliance has been our workhorse for the last three years, really allowing us to, to support that, that fastest growing segment of the market. In fact, last year, uh, the Integrated Data Protection Appliance grew by um, over 100%. So triple digit growth uh, was great. You know, it's something that um, you know allows us to address all market segments, all the way down to SMB, all the way to the enterprise. But last year, um, one of the things you may remember at Dell Technologies World is we introduced our Power Protect portfolio. You know, and that constituted uh, um, Power Protect Data Manager, our new software-defined platform, um, as well as the uh, delivery of PowerProtect Data Manager in an integrated appliance form factor with PowerProtect X400. So that's really our, our new scale out uh, data protection appliance. We've never had a scale out appliance in the architecture before, uh, in the portfolio before, and that gives us the ability to uh, offer customers choice, scale up or scale out, uh, integrated and target, 
And with the X400, it's available as a hybrid configuration or it's also our first all flash architecture. So really, we're providing customers with the uh, existing software uh, solutions that we've had in the market for a long time, an integrated form factor with the Integrated Debt Protection Appliance, as well as the brand new software platform that will really be our innovation engine. That will be where we'll be looking at supporting new workloads and certainly leaning into how we support cloud data protection and the hybrid cloud reality of the next decade. Okay, so one of the other things I want to explore is we've heard a lot about your new agile development organization, Beth has talked about that a lot. And, and the benefit obviously is you're, more, you're, you're able to get products out more quickly, respond to, to market changes, but ultimately the proof is in translating that development into product. What can you tell us about how that's progressing? Yeah, so certainly with PowerProtect Data Manager and the X400, that really is the, the epicenter of our agile product development uh, activities. You know, we've moved to a, a three month cadence for um, software releases. So working to deliver small batch releases into the market uh, much more rapidly than we've ever done before. In fact, since we introduced PowerProtect Data Manager, where we, we shipped a you know, first release in July, we're now at the third iteration of PowerProtect Data Manager, and therefore the third iteration of the X400 appliance. So there's three things that you know, I'd like to highlight um, within the X400 appliance specifically. First is really the, uh, the exciting news that we've introduced support uh, for Kubernetes. So we're, we're really the first you know, large enterprise data protection vendor to, to lean into providing Kubernetes data protection. So that becomes vitally important, especially with the developments over at our, our, our partner in VMware with vSphere 7, with the introduction of, of Tanzu, and the reality is that uh, customers will have both vSphere virtual machines and Kubernetes containers working side by side, and both of those environments need to be protected. So PowerProtect Data Manager and the X400 appliance has that support uh, available now for customers to take advantage of. Second, uh, we talk about long-term retention of, uh, of data in the cloud. The X400 appliance uh, has just received the capabilities to also take part in long-term retention to AWS. So those are two very important cloud capabilities that are brand new with the X400 appliance. And then finally, we introduced the X400 appliance with a maximum uh, configuration of four capacity cubes. Rough and tough, that was 400 terabytes of usable capacity. We've just introduced support of 12 capacity cubes. So that gives the uh, customers the ability to scale out the X400 appliance from 64 terabytes all the way to over a petabyte of storage. So now if you look at our two integrated appliances, we now cover the landscape from um, small numbers of terabytes all the way through to a petabyte of capacity, whether or not you pick a scale up architecture or a scale out architecture. Yeah, so that really comes back to the point I was making about optionality, and Kubernetes is key, it's going to be a, a linchpin. Obviously a portability for multi-cloud sets that up. As we've said, it's, it's not the be all end all, but it's a really necessary condition to enable multi-cloud, which is fundamental to your strategy. Right? Absolutely. All right, Rob, thanks very much for coming on theCUBE. It's great to have you. Thanks, Dave. And thank you for watching, everybody. This is Dave Vellante for theCUBE. We'll see you next time.